Go right ahead. Uh, yes, sir. A am I on now? Yes, go right ahead. You can talk to your mayor. Well, uh, this is a local issue, uh, and I'm I'm wondering how the mayor can feel justified with a question that's going to be on the ballot in March, uh, subsidizing uh, child care. Good. Now, child care is, is a very important issue all over the country. But my question is, if he could explain to the viewers how how he's comfortable uh, pointing the finger at 49 second-class license holder in the city of Burlington, you know, to subsidize uh, the Burlington share. And, uh, and another uh, follow-up thing is uh, the promotions are downtown Burlington, shop in Burlington, and how he can justify uh, putting on this proposal and still expect people to shop in the city of Burlington. Okay, the gentleman raises, let me explain a little bit, probably the rest of the nation does not know what's going to be on the ballot in Burlington. They will soon. They will soon. <laughs> All right. All of in Burlington, we have, as exists throughout our state and in fact throughout this nation, as you know, a very serious problem regarding child care. While we spend $300 billion on the military and give tax breaks to corporations and wealthy people, the federal government has been unable to provide any kind of substantial sums of money for child care. So you have all over this country working mothers, families, paying a huge percentage of their income. If you're making 300 bucks a week and you want a kid to go, your kid to go to a decent child care center, it might cost you 80 and 90 bucks. I mean, it's really prohibitive. In honesty, all honesty, the solution should come from the federal government. They have the capabilities of raising revenue in a progressive manner, but they choose to give tax breaks to the rich and spend money on, on nuclear weaponry. So we've given up on the federal government. They clearly are not going to do it. That's why some of us are not enamored with the Democrats and Republicans. State government should be doing a lot more in Vermont throughout the nation. Our state government does a little bit, nowhere near enough. But we have a problem. So I think, as mayor of our city, that we've got to address that problem. So what the gentleman is talking about is there is a, an issue that's going before the people of our city, which will enable us to raise a million and a quarter dollars for a child care development fund. Uh, based on an expansion of our gross receipts tax. So he doesn't he also like mentioned it. about shopping. Well, I mean, the theory is he raises another issue. Okay, you see, it, during my eight years as mayor, every time, not every time, almost every time, we have tried to develop progressive taxation. We've done what we thought was right for working people or the elderly people or poor people. Basically, it comes down to who's going to pay. I do not believe in the property tax. I think the property tax in Vermont throughout this nation is a regressive and unfair form of taxation. We have looked for progressive alternatives. Every time we do it, the rich people and the business community says, you're going to drive business out of Burlington, you're a terrible mayor, and so forth and so on. Well, the reality is Burlington right now is one of the lowest unemployment rates in the United States. Our problem is not driving business out. Our problem is now controlling development. But to answer his question, I think increasingly the people who have the money, the business community whose property values are soaring, soaring, who are making very good profits, they're going to have to help us with child care. They're going to have to help us with housing. I'm not going to go to working people and poor people and raise their taxes to pay for these needs. Let's go to Reno, Nevada. Go right ahead. The USSR is a perfect example of socialism. And